In 1982, NASA engineer Lonnie Johnson was tinkering in his bathroom, running a side experiment for an idea he had for a new eco-friendly refrigeration system. Johnson, a former Air Force officer who'd worked on the Galileo and Cassini missions, was always inventing, always chasing some bit of science that could make life better. That day, he hooked up a homemade nozzle to his sink to test how a pressurized water system might behave. When he turned the valve, a powerful blast of water shot across the room, hitting the opposite wall with shocking force. Johnson paused. This wasn't the refrigeration breakthrough he'd hoped for, but it was insanely fun. He started experimenting with prototypes, tubes, plastic bottles, pressure chambers, anything he could find that could harness that water blast safely. After countless iterations, he built a sleek, powerful water gun, unlike anything on the market. The moment he pulled the trigger and felt that cannon-like stream, he knew. This was it. In 1989, he licensed the invention. By the early 90s, kids everywhere were running through backyards wielding what became one of the world's best-selling toys, the Super Soaker. And to think, it all began with a failed experiment that sprayed water across a bathroom. Sometimes the greatest discoveries are the messy ones, 